What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be simply walking my friend Tamara, a top producing real estate agent in the state of Virginia. I'm going to be walking her through the setup of the most important um, features and settings when it comes to Facebook ads, installing your pixel, setting up your custom audiences, and most importantly, setting up your custom conversion. And right before we actually went live right here, we're talking about her experience with other people and, 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 and colleagues and friends of hers. And just in general, right? We always hear about people saying, hey, you know, Facebook ads don't work and I'm spending all this money on, on these damn ads and nothing's converting. And the reason for it, you guys, is, be, is because of what we're going to do today. Most people, and this is after speaking, not just hearing it out in the streets, right? Keeping my ear to the street and, and knowing what's going on. It's not just that, but it's also based on my experience of speaking to thousands and thousands of, of small business owners, of real estate agents, but also small business owners on this topic topic since 2017. I've spoken to thousands of them when it comes to Facebook ads and marketing their business online. And when I hear these, these different experiences, it's, it, it's because of what we're going to show you today. It's because most never bother to set up the back end. Most never bother to set up the pixel for the tracking. Most never bother to take their their links for each individual page and 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 install and and set them over to Facebook where we can set up these custom audiences. So if you're not doing the back end work, all you're doing when you're running an ad is you're running it and 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 it doesn't matter if you're targeting the same area. So for example, with Tamara, she's a local real estate agent, right? She's focused on a few zip codes in her backyard. So as you're running an ad to this local area, right? You would think that if you target that local area, every single time let's say let's just call it four ads let's say let's say we're running an ad every single week right if we're running a, an ad every week and i'm targeting that local area and let's just say yeah we're real estate agents and we're looking for homeowners we're looking for listings we're looking to educate people on what it takes to sell right we're really trying to build our brand we're running an ad every week to our local area even though you're targeting that area and you're targeting the exact area on every single ad so for example Ad number one, week number one, we're targeting that local area. We know the demographics. We know the interest of, of, of who we're trying to target. We know our avatar. We're targeting that local area. Week number two, we set up a whole new ad and we do it again. We target that local area. Week number three, week number four, we're doing the same damn thing, targeting that local area. You would think that you would put some type of dent in that you would think that that would be some type of impact because I'm only targeting a local area. So if these people can keep seeing me over and over and over, maybe I might build a brand. Maybe I'll have a great chance of building a business. But what you're not realizing is that every single ad is a new ad. Every single ad is going, yes, you're targeting that local area, but it's like, shit, how many people are in that local area? If you're, if you're in a big area like me, I'm out here in San Diego where there's like I, I think shit, I think there's like, well, damn, I, I don't even know how many people are here, but, but it's a shitload, right? There's a ton of people here. So if I was targeting this local area, every single ad is going to reach a different part of the area. Because especially in real estate, you can't target a zip code. You have to target a city. Mm -hmm. Before you used to be able to target a zip code, but, but, but now you have to target a city. So if that city is big, it's like, dude, every single ad, every single week is going to go to that area because you're specifying in Facebook. You're specifically telling them, hey, man, it's this city, San Diego, for example. But San Diego is so big. So every week that ad is going to go to a different group of people. So every week it's a new ad going to a new audience of people that never seen you. So if you're not tracking any of these people who are actually engaging, so week number one, I put out a video. I don't track anyone who watches it. Week number one, I have them click on a, on a link. They go to a web page. I didn't track any of that, that the fact that they landed on the web page. Week number two, I do the same thing. Another video, I'm sending them to a website, but I ain't tracking none of it. So every week, you guys, every ad, it's simply going to a new audience. Yes, the same location, but it's a new audience. And that's why you hear people say, my ads don't work. I can't get anything to convert. I keep running ads and nothing's happened because every single ad is going to a new audience. And these are people who don't know you. So you have to set up the back end. 
you have to install your pixel. If you're if you're driving traffic to a to a web page, you have to have that Facebook pixel on that web page so Facebook can track the visit. If you have multiple pages within a website, which is what we call a funnel, a, a, a landing page, a thank you page, a call confirm page. If you have multiple pages that people can navigate to, you have to be able to take each page and set up its own custom audience. I like to call it a bucket. What we're going to do today is we're going to set up our buckets. So as we run ads, we know who's clicking. Now, Facebook's not going to give you the name and number. They're not going to say, hey, Johnny's going to, Johnny just freaking clicked on your, on your ad. Unless Johnny put in his name and number on your end, Facebook doesn't give you that data. Facebook just simply tracks the activity. They track the, the cookie. They track the fact that this this person now they know who who it is but that's you don't have that information until that lead becomes a lead for you but just overall data they're tracking based on what this person is doing again whether they watched a percentage of your video that's tracked whether they clicked on the ad and they went over to a web page that is tracked because again the back end. So unless you're tracking all this stuff, every single ad is simply a new ad going to a new audience in that local area. And these are people that don't know you, therefore it's not converting. So once you set up the back end, which is what I'm going to take her through today, we're going to set up this back end. So it puts us in the best position to track all this data. So when we start running future ads, ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, we're now compiling all this data, which we can use to retarget. People who watched ad number one, let's say it was a video. People who watched ad number one, that video, ad number two, we can target those who watched it. In ad number one and two, those who clicked on the ad went over to the, to the web page, but maybe they didn't opt in just yet or they didn't buy your product just yet. It doesn't matter because we tracked it. So as we go to ad number three, ad number four, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be retargeting everyone who watched all the other video ads and then everyone who has landed on the web pages but may have not purchased or may have not opted in. That's what creates the omnipresence. That's why a lot of you guys, again, we're all consumers. So you guys experience what I'm about to explain right now. Are you ever online? Like, for example, right before I went live right now with Tamara, I had her go to Macy's.com just so I can show her the fact that these guys are pixeling us, right? Everyone's pixeling us, right? So as she went to Macy's.com, she landed on the webpage. She didn't buy anything. God knows she was tempted as hell to go buy a damn <laughs> red bag. We, we already know how you're thinking, T, right? It's like, just like my wife, you want to buy everything. But I'm the same way. It's like, damn, I want to buy everything too. So I was showing her the fact that she landed there. She got pixeled. That page is now also a very specific custom audience. She is now in Macy's bucket of web page visitors, people who landed there, but have not purchased. So what's going to happen next? I was telling her next time she goes on back on a Facebook, she'll see an ad for Macy's. So a lot of you guys, you ever experienced that when you're on different websites and you're like, holy crap, an hour later, a day later, or maybe, 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 maybe a couple of days later, all of a sudden you see an ad from that same product that, that you were looking at. That's custom audiences. That's pixel tracking. That's all data that's being compiled for that advertiser, which, which allows them to leverage it, which allows them to utilize it and, 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 and retarget those people. And that's what you want, especially when you're building a local brand. So as we roll out and target her local area with ads and, 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 and really bringing value and education on, 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 the, on, on real estate, we're, we're capturing this data. So now every ad that we run from, from, let's just call it ad number two and on, is retargeting relevant audiences, people who have actually seen us before, people who have actually clicked on our website before. That is, that's how you take a cold audience to a warm audience. And when, when, you're, when you keep bringing value and bringing fire to that warm audience, that warm audience begins becomes indoctrinated because they keep seeing you. That's what ads do, whether it's an image ad or a video ad. People, as long as they keep seeing you, they become indoctrinated. And indoctrinated means that psychologically, because they keep seeing you, they feel, and this is, just, this is psychology, they feel, we feel like we know that person, we feel that like, like we like that person. Mm -hmm. And we also feel like we can trust that person because we keep seeing them. And, and, and it's not like we keep, it's not like random 
I keep seeing, you know, cat videos on YouTube type of thing. No, this is actual, I keep seeing someone who's bringing fire. I keep seeing someone that's actually bringing value and who's actually educating me. And, and that's the power. So as we go to cold audience targeting, it turns into warm audience targeting, retargeting. And then, and then it gets that person to become indoctrinated, which gets them to click opt into whatever you're, you're, you're offering or buy whatever you're selling. And that becomes a hot, a hot customer. So today you guys, we're going to install, a, we're going to install the Facebook pixel. We're going to set up custom audiences, and we're going to also set up a custom conversion. And for those of you that don't, that don't know what a custom conversion is, um, I'll explain it to you as we, as we proceed and, and go through it. So, so T, are you there? Yep. I'm here. Awesome. So go ahead and share your screen and let's just, let's just get straight into it. So, for those of you guys that that are not that are not yet, you know, really scaling your online business, or 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 if you're new, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of um, a lot of subscribers on my channel are are the beginner type of entrepreneur where they're looking to dive into something online, um, they're looking to build something online, um, whether it's a service based business or a product based business. When it comes to whatever the hell you guys are thinking, you guys software is going to be the most important and it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be your your investment it's going to be your quote unquote expense but it's it, when it comes to business it's your investment it's something you have to invest in is software and and when it when it comes to software what i'm really referring to is your landing pages your email automation your your online calendar if you're in the business like Tamara where appointments are everything right we're scheduling appointments with buyers we're we're scheduling appointments with sellers we're we're we're, we're doing all the appointments right so if you're in the client services business then a calendar an online calendar giving people the ability to ability to click and schedule an appointment on their time is powerful right so when it comes to anything online you guys this is the software that i recommend um i've been on this software since 2018 building my business servicing clients servicing real estate agents servicing small business owners but then that kind of stemmed into 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 other services that that we got going on and other affiliates that other other affiliate products that we got going on but it all started from kartra so what i did is i provided a 14-day trial so there's a 14-day trial right below in the description you guys click on that activate your 14 day trial. You'll get an email from me right away and I'll help you set it all up. All right, you guys. So, so T here's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with pages. We're going to start with pages and let's, let's install the pixel first. So let's go over to the ads manager and we're going to simply, um, yeah, right there. We're going to simply click on the three lines to the left. I know we're, we'll come back to the custom audiences. It's all good, but we'll click on the three lines and let's go to events manager over here is where you can get your pixel. So we'll get it. We'll go to events manager and then um, right below, you'll see right here in the middle, you'll see um, it should say add. And let's see if we're even active. Do we, did we even activate the pixel yet? Probably not. I don't actually think so. no, we haven't actually. So yeah. Okay. That's cool. Let's do that now. So three lines to the left and let's go to business settings. Okay. So over here, business settings, all we're going to do to the left is we're going to scroll down to data sources. And you guys, I have a ton of videos. I'm going to link my, my, my Facebook ad playlist in the description. So um, there's a ton of steps that you, that you want to, you know, you want to, you want to go through before you even run this ad. And that's what we're doing here. So this is one, this, what we're in now is, is the business manager. So if you guys are still running ads out of your ads manager, you want to set up your business manager. This is the business manager. So for those of you that, that, that are wondering what the hell are you guys looking at? This is the business manager. So when you have just the ads manager, you don't have these settings right here. So that's why some of you guys are probably wondering what, what we're looking at. This is the business manager. So, and the difference is with the ads manager and the business manager, the business manager just simply gives you all these settings, all these features, the ability to get a pixel, the ability to set up your custom audiences, the ability to set up a custom conversion, the ability to install your, your domain or integrate your domain, right? So all of these features, again, is why most Facebook ads don't work because you guys ain't doing none of this shit and you need to be. Okay, so right here to the left, pixels, we'll click on pixels and let's see if we can just activate, if we need to just activate this one. Okay, cool. So your name is right there. Okay, so it 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 is there. Click on add assets right there at the top. Let's see if there's anything we need to add. Add assets. Um, add yeah, right there at the top. Add assets. Let me move this over here. Oh yeah, drag. Yeah, you could drag that thing out the way. Okay. Add, so add assets. Let's see. Click on um. Click on yeah. Click on that account. The S three and um yeah and then add. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. That's why we didn't see it because you have to connect. You have to connect that account. So as you click on add assets, you guys, again, you're what what you're not seeing here is the fact that we've set up the ad account. We set up the um the um the business manager. So you didn't see all that part. But when, once you do set all that up, then come over here to pixels, add assets, and 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 add add what we just added was the ad account we we tied the ad account to the pixel that's what we just did and then over here you see her name right here at the bottom so if you don't see your name add people click add people to the right and add your name so so we're good there so refresh this page go ahead and just refresh it real quick and then um and then we should be good so now click on the three lines and let's go back to events manager and let's let's see what that looks like now Okay, cool. So see how it looks different now. Now you have, now you have your your S three decree to the to the top left, and then now mm -hmm. you have the ability to to set this up. So now we're gonna click on, click on the the blue one. So and then also actually you're in the right account to the top right. Yeah. So go ahead and continue pixel setup, and then Meta Pixel, connect, and then install code manually to the left. Install code manually, and then you're gonna over here. You're gonna copy code. Okay, cool. And then now hit the blue continue to the bottom right, continue. And then turn this on, turn on automatic advanced matching. So shade that to blue, make sure all of that, that way Facebook can try to compile the, the most accurate data for you based on who you're targeting. So continue, hit the blue one, continue. Okay, and then continue. So we don't need that part, just continue, verify domains already verified, so continue. And we're good. So now um, go to pixel overview, click on that one, the blue one. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and um, refresh this page. So let's, let's refresh this page. And then this thing will also change again, once we add it to the page. So now let's, we already copied it. We clicked on that green button. We copied the pixel. So now let's go back to Kartra and we'll start with one page at a time. And, and, and for those of you guys that, that are not using Kartra, for example, go ahead and let's start with the opt-in. Click on the three dots and go to edit. So most of the landing page software is out there, you guys, it's all the same. You go into the settings, you install the pixel, click on the green one, edit. But the whole reason why I use Kartra, a lot of people that are that are probably following me are probably into, into ClickFunnels and, and shout out to ClickFunnels, shout out to Russell Brunson, the owner of ClickFunnels that today, to, to this day, that guy is still my number one mentor. I've learned all this stuff from him. Um, but the only reason why I don't use that software, go ahead and scroll down and just keep hitting next, 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 scroll down. So the only reason why I don't use ClickFunnels or, or really any of these other softwares is because you end up spending a hundred bucks a month just for the landing pages. So with ClickFunnels, $97 a month, just for the landing pages. And so with Kartra, I get, I get the trifecta, what Tamara and I used to, <laughs> I like to use the word we like to use, the trifecta. I get the landing pages, I get the email automation, and I get the online calendar. And if you're like me into, into creating digital courses, because that's where I'm at now is, Tamara doesn't know this, but she's, she, she, well, she's about to know, but she's damn near my last client that I'm, that I'm going to be taking on because where I'm shifting to now is I'm taking all this knowledge, putting it in video form. And, and, and now I'll be offering my actual digital course. So rather than taking my physical time and, and putting these calls together like this, I'm going to just have everything in a membership course and people can purchase that. And, and I, and, and I'll have, you know, 50 plus tutorial videos that walks an individual through every single step of this damn thing. Um, and that's another reason why I use Kartra. So that's the fourth major, major um, feature inside of Kartra. So if you guys are into online courses, if you're into taking your knowledge and monetizing it, that's why I use Kartra as well. And all of that, the, the landing pages, the email, the calendar, the, the, the ability to create my own online course, a membership, password protected, all that for $99 a month. So again, you guys, I provided a 14-day trial. That link is in the description. So right here, T, to the left, settings. And again, most of the pages out there are, are softwares out there are, are pretty much the same. You go to the settings, you go to tracking code, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And we're going to simply see the Facebook one. So we'll paste it in right there. And this is your code. So here's what I, here's what I normally have people do. Go ahead and click apply. Anytime in the future that you ever, that you ever create a website, so T, if you ever, you know, have someone build you a, a full-blown website down the line or whatever, 
Um, and even with KB Core, any website that, that a lot of real estate agents have websites th through their brokerages, that pixel is something you can easily send over to the web developer, developer and, and, and have them install it on your website. So if you're just having anyone create a website, you're going to want to send them that pixel. So what I normally recommend you do is email it to yourself. You can always come into your ads manager and copy it and get it like you did right now for sure. But having a, a, a copy in your email is, is good too. So, so why don't you do that real quick? Email it to yourself. Just simply, um, you already have it copied. So just go to your email and just send yourself an email. And, and this is your Facebook pixel. So there's the pixel. And then now top right-hand corner, actions, publish live. So we already applied it. We clicked the blue button, apply. Now we're going to publish live. And then over here, we're going to get our link. So let's test it. Let's test it. Make sure, again, that's the whole purpose of the pixel. So I can, I mean, for the, for the, not for the pixel, but for the um, Facebook pixel helper. So I can, so I can test my own pages. So get the page link, copy that link, copy that link and open it up in a new tab. And then it's all lit up here. So there goes that pixel helper. So if you click on it, you'll see that Facebook is now tracking the domain. So there's the domain s3decree.info and there is your pixel ID. So, so there's two different things that you want to do. Did you email that pixel code to yourself already? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's two different, two different forms of a pixel. One is that code that, that you just emailed and, and you put on the page. Some web pages, some websites, some platforms require only the pixel ID. So I think KV Core might be like that, where all they need is your pixel ID. And that's it right there. And all I'll right. show you where to find that inside your platform as well. But, but that's your pixel ID. Um, and that's, that's just your pixel as well. So, okay, cool. So that's good. So leave that tab open because we're going to need to come back to this page um, to set up the custom audience. So let's go back to, let's go back to, to Kartra because you already have the pixel copied. So um, close this out, close this out right here, close and then actions. Oh, I have to grab it again because I had copied that one page. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. You're right. You're so right. You're so, so right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So make sure you got every single part of it. Copy and then just um, hit apply again just for the hell of it, the green one, apply. And then um, and then actions in the top right. So the way you exit a Karcher page is you publish live, which you already did, and then you return to dashboard. Okay. So click that and return to dashboard. So let's get out of this page. And let's just simply do the same for the other two. So now that we have that pixel on a page, as we come back and we refresh it, now we're going to have a different view of it. I see that. So now, now it's, it's, it's ready to, 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 to crush it. So X this out the little, yeah, X that one out. One thing you want to do real quick also is hit settings right at the top settings. And then scroll down, all the way down, 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 down. Keep going down, down, down. And then over here, traffic permissions, scroll down, all the way down. Create allow list. So go ahead and click on that, create allow list. And then what you want to do is make sure that this, that the domain is also um, connected over here as well. So create allow list. Hmm. Is it supposed to open up another window? Yeah, you should have saw. Um, Everything. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. So go ahead and type in no www, just the domain. So hit that s3 decree.info and then um and then click on next. Okay, and then um confirm and then close. Okay, cool. So now that domain is now connected to this pixel. Um that was super, super important. So now click on overview right at the top. And then now this is where, so if you refresh the page to the very, very right, to the bottom right, you should see websites. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but let's see how, let's see. Yeah, it'll take a few minutes, but um, right there to the right, you'll see websites and then you'll see your domain. So there's your pixel ID as well. So the six, the six, eight, five, that's your pixel ID. But what I want you to do real quick is go to your bookmarks and, um, and remove the bookmark pixel and we need to rename, this is this is what, what I want you to rename. So I want you to rebookmark it. Um, so pixel, yeah, just, you can right click if you can right click. Oh, it. sorry. Sorry. So I should get out of, get, get out of this area Actually, here. No, I, guess it is. I guess it is. No, it took you here, right? 
Yep. This is oh, where it took me. Good. Okay. You're good. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So in the future, you emailed yourself the pixel, but in the future, you can always get it from here. So scroll down, review events, the blue button, scroll down, scroll down right there at events. That's where your pixel is at as well. So click on that at events from a new website, from a new website, not a pixel, install code manually. And then, and then to the top left, to the top left, click on the install base code. It won't look like this next time, but it'll look like this. So there's, there's the copy code. That's Perfect. it. Click it. And that, and now you have your pixel. So, so you have your awesome. pixel now. So let's, let's go back to Kartra. So go back to Kartra and let's, let's, let's do the same for um, the thank you page. And then we're going to do again, the call confirm page. So let's knock those out real quick. Okay, cool. So now that our pixel is on the most important pages, you guys, right? Like every page is freaking important, but, but in this case, it's really simple. It's really a few pages. So sales funnel consists of, of really a few pages. And so in this case, we have, we have a, a landing page, we have a thank you page. And then as Tamara goes for appointments, she's a real estate professional. So, so it's all about appointments in her, in her business. As people go and schedule an appointment, they then land on a call confirm page. And so what we're going to do now, we just put our pixel on all three of those pages. What we're going to do now is simply set up our custom audiences. So again, back to what I was trying to explain in the very beginning, the reason why ads don't work is because none of this stuff is ever tracked. None of this stuff is ever set up. So for example, as you scroll down T, scroll down your newsfeed and let's just come across a random ad. So we got your friend, you know, right there with Napoleon Dynamite, scroll down Google ad, keep going. Let's see if we can find like a, like a, like an individual. Um, so Bibles and Girl Talk, I love that. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Shout out to Jay Shetty. Right. Um, that dude crushes it. So, He's so cool. Keep going, keep going. Let's see if we find a random ad. Dude, I love Al's. Me I too. Love Al's. Oh my me gosh, started. me too. <laughs> Get me started. Like I like my little balcony right here that I where I'm at. Like I um I have somewhat like of like I'm in San Diego, so I'm not like hard. It's not like hardcore nature. It is, it is for sure, for sure. But but it's it's city, you know, for sure as well. But but where I'm at, my balcony, like I I look out and and I got trees and I got like. I got like, it looks like I'm, I'm in damn near Washington or something. It looks like I got nature. Awesome. And like, I love, like, I love being out there just looking at the birds and like, I'm into all that stuff. So right here, home IQ, yeah. home IQ. Perfect. Okay, perfect. This is so perfect. Here's a perfect example. So again, shout out to all you rookies that are running, running ads and just not, not, not converting and not seeing an ROI. Right. But here's, here's why, man, because again, as this ad goes, gets put out and that person clicks. So let's scroll down, click on learn more. So click on learn more, go, go down below the ad, um, click on the button, learn more. So as people click on your button, you guys, the moment they click and they land, are you tracking that visit? So nine out of 10, actually 10 out of 10 times, like her and I were talking about real estate agents, you know, prior to us jumping on here and, and why a lot of agents don't see success with this is because that's it, man. It's like, once I click on your ad, are you tracking that visit? And most aren't, right? Most aren't there. So in this case with Home IQ, shout out to Home IQ, I can see with the Facebook Pixel Helper, I can see that they're tracking me with their Pixel. So that's one. That that step mm -hmm. one is putting the Pixel. But then step two is what Home IQ would do, and I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll say that they know what they're doing. I'll just you know just hypothetically, they, they, let's just say that they know what they're doing. What what just happened here is that yes. The pixel tracked the visit, but also they even specified it even more and took the link at the top, homeiqreport.com forward slash LP, forward slash lender, forward slash partnership. That's the link. The rest of the stuff that's after that, the forward slash question mark, FBCLID, you know where I'm at, T, you see what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. The link at the top, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, I so, see all so that. Their actual link is, is what I just said. It's all the way up to the partnership. But after that forward slash, the question mark FB, all that is is just, is just tracking for, for Facebook. And that, that's not even part of, part of the link. So we don't need any of that. It's just that first part of their link. So giving them the benefit of the doubt and, and, and saying that they actually know what they're doing, that's it right there. What they also did, step two, step one was the pixel. Step two is what they would have also done is took that link 
and set up a custom audience. The custom audience is web page visitors. So now that they tracked the fact that Tamara just landed here, she'll go back on Facebook in a couple hours and see another ad because Home IQ, they're running multiple ads and they're retargeting those who are seeing previous ads. They're retargeting those who are landing on the web page but haven't booked a demo. And, and they know you haven't booked a demo because you haven't landed on the thank you page. You've only landed on this one. Super specific. So that's what we're about to do with your pages, T. So, so go back to Facebook real quick. As let's say that was a, a, a real estate ad. You click the button, you go to download now. So open up your download now tab at the top. So we click the ad, we, go, we come to the download now. There's gonna be X amount that leave, there'll be X amount that actually smash the yellow button, right? So, so, so we're gonna set up all that. So we gotta track, we gotta track all this stuff. And, 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 and that's what we're about to do right now. So let's, let's take this link right here. So at the very, very top, s 3 decreeinfoseller guide. That's all you need. Don't need the question mark. Copy that and just that, not the www. Yeah, see, so do it again. You don't need the HTTPS or just, just the domain. So we're going to take that and we're going to set up our first custom audience, actually our second, but this is our first when it comes to websites. So now let's go back to the ads manager. So again, you guys, this is why your ads aren't working. You're not tracking any of this stuff. You have to be, you have to be. So over here, we're going to click on the three lines to the left and we're going to go to audiences. We're going to go to custom, we're going to go to audiences and this will take us to our custom audiences. Okay, cool. And then over here, we're going to simply click on the, um, the blue button there, create audience. And we're going to set up our first website audience, custom audience, and then website at the top. And these are different parts of custom audiences. We could do video. We could do all these other things. But really, in your case, it's only website and video if you ever start doing video. But we'll focus on website for now. So next. And then over here, we're going to simply hit the drop down where you see events, all website visitors, and we're going to go to specific. We're going to tell Facebook that it is we need to track this specific visit. So it's the second one down, people who visit specific. And the retention, you can leave that for 30, 30 days. Facebook will just only keep people in this audience that have, that have, that have been on the web page within the past 30 days. That's kind of how you want it. You can do it. You can go to 180 days, but really, 30 days is kind of is kind of the max because those that landed on your website 47 days ago and they only landed there once, they may not remember you, right? But those have landed within the last few weeks, there's a there's a better chance of them of them actually re remembering us. So so we'll go 30 and then paste in your link right there. So right at the bottom, paste in your link. Now, right there, the blue one. Click the blue. So now here's what we want to do. Also, we want to, we want to take it a step further. And again, shout out to all you rookies, but this is the reason why your stuff's not converting because you're not doing any of this stuff. What we want to do is we want to be specific. We want to make sure that our ads are being targeted to the most specific and the most relevant and the people who are engaging. We want to make sure that our ads are going there. And we're not blowing our budget. This is how you do it. So in this case, we're going, okay, custom audience of those who land on the, on, on the landing page but they never landed on the thank you page. So that, so this is where we go, exclude people, exclude people. Scroll down and then we're gonna follow the top. So all website visitors, we're gonna go to specific. And then in this case, yeah, hit the drop down. all website visitors, go to specific. And then the 30, this is, this is for those who have landed on the thank you page, meaning they've opted in before, right? So I'm gonna take the 30, I wanna max it out to 180. Max it out to 180, 30, type in 180. Now get the link for your thank you page. So this link right here, now double click the link because you don't need the whole thing. You just need, double click it. You only need, yeah, just get the domain. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tell Facebook that, th th that they've only visited the first page. They have yet to visit this one and they have yet to visit the call confirm one. We're going to add that one too. So go ahead and paste that one in there, click on the blue, and then go get the call confirmed one. So they've only landed on the web page, the landing page. They have not landed on any of these other ones. 
go back to call confirm at the top. No, no, just go to call confirm, grab this link and, um, and do the same thing. So paste it in. We're not going to, don't get that dot. You got the dot right there. So just get the domain. Oh, okay. Yeah. There so, so um, copy that. Okay. So now just paste it in right below that link. Yeah. Right there, right there. Paste it in, paste it in right there. No, 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 no. At the top, right where the link is. Yeah. Paste it in right there. Okay. So now hit the blue. Now give it an audience name. This is seller guide page visitors only. Seller guide page visitors only. And that is a very specific audience. So again, as you run ads, you're going to have, you're going to have, you're going to have a ton of people that click. And when they click, go to click the blue button. When they click, they're tracked. And so the power of this audience is the fact that you'll want to hit done the blue button. You'll want to retarget this audience um, um, on ad number two and on. I always want to retarget, even 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 back to your 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 Google My Business placement. If there's a link on that Google profile and they click and they come over to your webpage, that's a custom audience. So I can have that audience here as well. And so when I go run my next ad, I can choose which audiences I want to retarget. I want to retarget that one. I want to, I want to exclude this one. I want to retarget those who watched my videos. That what, that's what creates the omnipresence. So now let's do another one. Let's, 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 let's go to the schedule. your now schedule your call. Now get the, get the link for the thank you page. Now what we want to do is we want to create an audience around the thank you page. So copy that. And this is very, very straightforward. The name of this audience are seller guide leads. Anyone who lands on that page is a lead. So in this case, website, hit next. In this case, what I'll be able to do, all website visitors specific, and then I'll change the 30 to 180. I want to max it out because this is lead, these are leads. So just max it out 180. And then, and then paste in that link. And then scroll down and name it, um, name it seller guide leads. Seller guide leads. Okay, so now this would be an audience that I would exclude from future ads because they've already downloaded, downloaded my seller guide. They don't need to keep seeing my ads. That right? makes sense. Now, yep. now, now on the flip side, what I could also do is I could target them if I wanted to. I could simply, I could put a video out. I could put out, I could put out a video. Like, let's say, for example, I want to target just my leads. Hey, guys, this is David. Hey, I noticed you you downloaded my seller guide a couple of weeks ago. Hey, did you get a chance to get through it? Let me tell you what you're missing by not scheduling a call with me. That could be a very specific message, a very specific ad message going to a very specific group of people, my leads, right? These could be leads that have yet to schedule an appointment. Makes right? sense. So, 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 so. In fact, let's let's add that. Get the call confirmed. Get the call confirm link. Get that. Copy that link at the top. Go to call confirm. Get that link. Let's also include that. So copy that. Go back to the to the to the ads manager. Um, Let's also include that. So check the box, seller guide leads, check the box, and then just click on, um, click on edit. So down seller guide leads, check that box, check the box to the left. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then click on edit. So let's just add, click on edit right to the top left edit. So let's just add that, that link as well. So again, very specific. Wait, 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 wait. Um, oh, sorry. So. So they landed here, they landed here, right? They landed here, but they never scheduled an appointment. So exclude people. So they landed there. Oh, yes. Makes now, sense. But they never landed on the call confirm page. Mm -hmm. So scroll down and then change out the all website visitors, go to specific and, and just go to go to 180, go to 180. That's fine. Go to 180 on that one and then paste in that link. So, so they're leads, 
They just haven't scheduled an appointment yet. Um, that update makes audience. sense. Update audience. And then let's do this last one. Let's do this last one. So create audience, hit done. Create audience. And then, um, and then um, custom audience. And then website. And then go ahead and all website visitors specific. And then um, let's go. This is going to be this is going to be 180 because this is going to be appointments. So so 180, um, and then paste in that link. The same one as before. The call confirmed one. Yeah. Okay. So, and then this is simply the audience name is 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 appointments. Just straight out appointments. Anyone who's ever scheduled an appointment with you is in this audience. Clearly, I need more coffee today. So I can either run an I can either target them with an ad. But, but what I would typically do is exclude them from mm -hmm. seeing ads because they've mm -hmm. already scheduled an appointment. So they don't need to see my ads. You know what I mean? Makes so, sense. So this is how you really narrow in your audience, narrow in your targeting. You guys click on done. And we were going to knock out the custom conversion team, but we're going to do that on our, on our next call. Okay. Um, today is pixel and today's custom audiences. So those right there are the most important. And when it comes to a different funnel, a listing funnel, an open house funnel, a buyer guide funnel, it's the same strategy. We're taking these few basic pages and creating and segmenting these audiences. Awesome. Right. To, to include in future targeting, future retargeting of our ads, or to exclude from, from future targeting of our, of our ads. So this is what it's all about. You guys, this is what I always say that 99% of Facebook and Instagram advertising, the success of these, of these, of these advertisements comes down to your audiences. You have to be building custom audiences. You have to be retargeting these custom audiences. If you're not doing this part, you're just simply putting out cold ads. You're putting out new ads to cold audiences every single time, even if you're targeting a super local area, it's still a cold audience. So you have to, you have to just, you know, um, set these up and you'll start seeing success. So T, that was it. Any questions on that? And then in the wood chat, when's our next call scheduled? Um, I think we have one for tomorrow, but I need to confirm with you. Okay. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll see my calendar and then just shoot me a message. Okay. But, but we'll go from there. So pixel and custom audiences today. And then tomorrow will be our custom conversion. And then we'll go into editing, editing these pages. And then um, we'll be, we'll, we'll be a few steps closer um, to running these, running these Facebook ads. Awesome. I'm so excited. All right, T. Thank you so much. Message me if you need anything else. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.